Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a 45 minute dumbbell strength workout, full body. So grab your weights and let's get to it. Hello team, it's time to get started. I'm super excited to do this workout with you. We are working on strength, okay? So today we're gonna need a variety of dumbbells. We're gonna do ni nice large compound uh, movements. So I have a set of eights because we're gonna warm up with those today. And then I have a set of 20s, 25s, 30s, and 35s today. I don't know if I'll get into those 35s, but just in case I have them out here. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna have these intervals that we're gonna repeat starting at one minute to 45 seconds to 30 seconds. With each set, I'm gonna ask you to try to go up and wait if you can. If you can't, it's okay. You're challenging yourself still, but if you can, we'll give it a whirl today. All right, so let's go ahead and warm up. Uh, just move through those joints. We have a couple minutes. I like to just move around, open up a bit, and then we'll do some activation that you'll see at the beginning of my workouts a lot. All right, getting, and those I focus on different parts of the body depending on the day. Today we're gonna do a lot of core activation. Let's go over to the left side, but we'll get the back to um, upper back. So a couple important areas that I think we need just in case, <laughs> just in case those muscles are asleep today. All right, good. Let's go up and around. Big swoops with those arms. A little butterfly here for me. Nice work. You'll hear me talk about butterflies and rainbows and I don't know, all kinds of things in here today. Oh. All right, nice work. Let's kick it here or swing it. You can hold onto the wall or find your balance. So just swinging forward and back. I do want you to stand tall and try not to lean into it. All right, so forward and back right here. That's it. We're gonna go five more, five, four, three, two, and one. I think Kona wanted to join us today. One, two, we'll see how long he sticks around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That feels so good. Let's give it a little knee hug. If this is difficult to do, standing and balancing and pulling in, we'll, uh, go ahead and lean against the wall or maybe lay down. All right, just hug. And if that's too much to pull behind the leg, if it's hard to get around to the leg, just pull underneath on your back or against the wall. There you go, a couple more for me. We just have 30 seconds, we'll head to the floor for activation. It may be a little bit of the boring part. Maybe you love that part because it's core. It's necessary, it's important for that kind of strength and activation, so please, just get through it with me. You'll feel those muscles. Let's go heel to toe, working so much more um, efficiently for you during the workout, all right? Because you'll have them turned on. You'll be aware of them, and you'll be able to brace and use that core uh, strength throughout the workout. All right, nice work. Let's come down to a high plank here. We're gonna go from a plank, and you may just stay here into a down dog. That's all we're doing, right here <laughs> and back, all right? I thought Kona was gonna do a down dog with us. Right into that plank, hips are level to the floor, push back, try to get your heels down if you want and hold it for a second, back out to high. And then push back into the floor, bottom up and out there you go back and forth 40 seconds i believe is what i put on these here we go three two oh it feels so good <laughs> and one no wonder um our dogs like to do that we're gonna go into a side plank here now okay another good one let's start modified with bent knees shoulder over elbow hips up three two and one here we go we're on our left side if you're there it doesn't don't worry about it we're going to switch if this is easy for you we're going to go ahead and maybe kick this leg out or find a heel to toe today and i really want you to push these hips up towards the ceiling using the oblique underneath okay now i'm a little bit back here it makes it easier i want you to push the hips towards me a little bit and then up a little okay that's where i want you to stay shoulder stack hold this here find your breath yes it's 40 seconds each side you can modify three two and one Woo. all right we're gonna go to the other side same thing starting that bent knee three two and one we're up hips are forward push 
the tops of the hips to towards the ceiling using those obliques at the bottom. Let's find that heel to toe if you're there. Good, stack those shoulders. Keep the ribs stacked over the hips so we're not here. Pull the hips towards me and push them up again. We're holding that position. Try not to, to change it. If you find that it got a little easier, more than likely, your body has tried to uh, cheat you a little bit by finding an easier way to do it. It's not you doing it. Your body is smart. We won't blame you at all. It's just the body finding a way to make it work. Three, two, and one. Down, nice work. We're going into fire hydrants here. All right, we're gonna work our gluteus medius. We have a lot of issues with those being weak typically. So we're just gonna come out to the side. I want that belly button to stay at the floor here. Three, two, and one. Here we go, knee out to the side and down. Keep that belly button facing towards the floor. So that means I don't want us to rotate to get height in that hip because then we're cheating that hip a little bit. We want it to work. So stay squared off here at the floor, just lift. If you don't go very high, don't worry about it. And team, don't forget that if you want your credit today, you want to start your watch. <laughs> Keep going with that little fire hydrant here. Notice that my foot is in line with my knee. Okay, up and down here, good. That's it, nice work. We're gonna switch that other side. Lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it. Woo, same thing. Try to keep that belly button down. Pull those toes towards the shin. Just lift that knee. Foot follows with the knee. It should be about parallel. Squeeze and lift. Good job, good job. Woo, there you go, come on. Make it work a little longer here. We got it. We can do it. You're like, but I feel my other hip working. I know because it's stabilizing here, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Next one, we're gonna bring that right leg out. Now we're gonna go with a straight leg here. Same thing, lifting. It's a small lift, okay? Try not to twist and turn. Woo, we're gonna go 40 seconds on the right and 40 on the left. Three, two, and one. Here we go, lift and lower. That's it, out to the side. Maybe lead with the heel a little bit. You can kick it back a little bit more if you want so that you can feel it on the outside of that hip. There you go. Woo, small movement team, you can do this. That's it, lift and lower. Nice job. Keep it coming. 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and lift it up and over now in a rainbow, tap down on the other side. Out right, up and over, a little rainbow. Good, lead with the heel. Nice job, let's switch sides. Oh, other leg out, left side, up and down. Small little taps, small little lifts. That's it, blow that air out. We should be feeling these hips now, okay? <laughs> Definitely feeling our hips. Keep it coming. Let's go five, four, three, Two, and let's find that rainbow. I told you we would talk about rainbows up and over. There you go. Try to keep it positive in here with these little pretty pictures. <laughs> there you go, in our head. Three, two, and one. Nice work, we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna engage our upper back. We're gonna make a Y. So we're gonna push out here and lift and hold for two. Then we're gonna squeeze back here in our W, and then we're gonna push out into a T and hold, okay? So follow my lead here. Look at me for the first round. We're gonna push out into this Y hold here. Your forehead can be at the floor, by the way. Then I want you to pull it in into a W for Wonder Woman. <laughs> All right, good, squeeze, pulling those elbows back. Now I want you to slide those arms out into a T. And I want you to pull back a little further there too and squeeze. All the while pulling that belly button in and squeezing those glutes. Here we go, push out into that Y or an I if you want. Now pull back into that Y and squeeze. Feel it, feel it. And push out into that T and squeeze. Great job. All right, glute bridge. All right, getting those glutes on. You might've felt them there as you squeeze to protect that lower back. Here we go, bring those heels in towards your bottom as close as you can get them. I want you to pull the knees in together so you feel some 
engagement on the inner thighs. And now let's just lift those hips up towards the ceiling. I want you to think about your knees as a headlight, shooting those rays, the ray of lights out towards the front there, towards that opposite wall. Not up towards the ceiling, but the wall at an angle, okay? Squeeze and lift. Now, if you can, try not to set the hips down all the way. Go ahead and keep that squeeze and that contraction the whole time. Typically, when I put them down, they you get a little rest in there. So let's just try to keep that contraction going. Give me one more. Three, two, and one. Rest. Oh, it feels good. Those are turned on. We're going to go stand up now. Let's add a squat. Kind of getting all of those together. We'll add a little abduction in the hip, too. So it's going to look like this. Squat to lift. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. Three, two, and one. And we'll alternate. Squat, little abduction. Squat, little abduction. All right. So we already isolated this in the glute max. We're just going to bring our outer hips and that bottom together into a little squat here, along with the other muscles in our legs and a little core stability here as we stand and try to balance on one leg. But you can hold on if you need to, but try to find balance. Try to practice it. Good. That's it. Woo. We're going to rest here in three, two, and one. All right. Hi, I tell you what, for just starting out, I always say, okay, now it's time to get started. And everybody's like, that feels like a workout. It is. All right, we just engaged a lot of muscles in our body. We're primed, we're ready to go, we're prepped. We're gonna go ahead and bring up the heart rate a bit and combine more movement together now between our arms and our lower body. And it's gonna look like this. And I'm gonna use eights. Uh, you might want fives. You might just wanna use your arms. We're gonna squat down and as we come up, I want that front, front arm raise, okay? Three, two, and one. So squat and bring those arms up as you stand, okay? Or you can go down to really engage the core with a squat to front arm raise on the down. That takes a little more strength. So if we're not there today, squat up with the arms, okay? We're just going 20 seconds and we're there. Time, nice work, rest. We're gonna do three more this way. Just getting that heart rate up a little bit and moving the entire body. Three. Two and one, here we go. Your options are a squat to front arm raise. If you're there, squat with the front arm raise. We're working 20 seconds, so not too heavy, not too sticky. Move as quickly as you can with good form and control. You got it. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. Two down, two to go. Ah, feels good. All right, here we go. Three two, and one. Woo. Number three. Good. Remember, if that is tough, if you're feeling lower back with that weight out there, squat, come up, raise, squat, come up and raise. It's all good. You got it. Come on. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Woo. One more. Make sure you have your water around today. Three, two, and one. Here we go. That's it. Whoa. Good. Come on, see what you can get in here. Just 20 seconds. Just warming up still. You're like, no, Tatum. <laughs> oh, I can hear my clients in their head. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, nice work. Let's take that 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds between our sets today. If you need more, take it. Pause me, but don't go away. All right, first uh, circuit. We have goblet squats, chest press, and we're going to do a pullover from the floor. We have 20 seconds of rest in between each. This first one's a long one. It's a minute, so consider it a warm-up, but add some weight. We're going to add each time. Do what you can here, okay? Let's go with that goblet squat. I'm going to start with a 25, here we go. Three, two, and one, squat it out. One minute here, good form, okay? Toes are pointing forward. Knees should be over the second, third toe. You should feel the ground over the entire foot. All right, what does that mean? That means I don't just, I'm not leaning back on my heels. I'm not up on the balls of my feet with my heels up, all right? And my knees should be over the second, third toes. If they're not, call me out. Hey, I don't have anybody there telling me otherwise. Look in the mirror if you can. Look in the mirror, check it out. See what's happening there. 
on those squats. I have my, oh, my feet about a little wider than shoulder width here, about shoulder width with those toes forward. If you're having trouble getting down because you're taller or just because it's a little difficult, you can go wider, but then those toes do have to go out with those knees as well. Three, two, and one. Hey, we made it through that. All right, chest press from the floor. I'm gonna go with 25s for a minute, working up each time, or at least trying at least one um, increase along the way here today. All right, from the floor, elbows out, pronated grip here. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we're pressing up and coming back down. That's it. One minute of work here, team. Keep it up. You can do this. From the floor, if you have a bench, from the bench. You can use that as well. Take the opportunity here to focus on breathing in and breathing out on the push. Breathing in when you lower, out when you push. There you go. Sometimes that can help you focus. It can help us get that oxygen to the muscles. Keeps us from getting lightheaded or increasing our blood pressure by, by breathing and not holding our breath. Good. Now I'm kind of pausing at the top here. If you want an extra challenge today, let's go ahead and push that weight in a two, zero, two. So one, two, up without rest and back down for two and up for two and back down. We're just gonna keep moving. That kind of tempo, two and two. Three, two, and one, rest. Oh my, who felt that one? I sure did. We have a pullover coming up here. Okay, so I'm going to use one dumbbell. I'm gonna grab both heads here and we're just gonna squeeze under the armpits and pull over into those lats. Three, two, and one. Here we go, pull it over. That's it. A lot of time at the floor here right now. That's okay, enjoy it. <laughs> Second circuit today is gonna be higher intensity where we rev up the heart rate a little bit and we keep moving. Good, pull over, squeeze under the armpits. This is a long minute for this. So slow it down, control it. You do you. Woo, that's it. Maybe I should have started lighter. We might be using this one on the 45, so make a mental note of how you felt. Do you think you can go up next time or do you need to stay here? Oh, good job. That's it, squeeze under the armpits. Don't go too far with this weight. If you pull it up over your chest, you're gonna relax those lats. Try not to rest and do that. Try to stay contracted, but I know it's hard. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Ouch. All right, good work. That's our circuit for now. We're going back to those goblets. I used a 25. I'm gonna go up to a 30 this time, team, okay? So if you have the weights there and they're available to you and you're feeling good, we're dropping down that interval. So let's see if we can increase that weight. Three. Two and one, here we go, goblet squat. Weight is close to my chest. I'm not trying, yes, we're working core. But I don't wanna work with my arms too. So if we're out here, this is gonna get really heavy on my arms before my legs. So make sure that we keep it close to the body. Hug it in there, squeeze. Now again, I'm kinda of pausing, working a little slow, knowing that it's a minute. If you wanna push yourself, cause this weight feels good. We're gonna go one, two, one, two. So we're gonna come down for one, two, up for one, two, and down for two, and up for two. Just moving nice and smooth, and we're gonna keep it pumping. And we're there, three, two, and one. Nice work. Chest press, so now I'm gonna go up to my 30s on this one. All right, working for 45 seconds, trying to increase that weight each time because we're decreasing the amount of time under tension. But if you're not there, please don't judge yourself. Do what you can, not what you can't. Three, two, and one. All right, team. We're off, we're working. Chest press, focus on that breathing in. When you, on that eccentric lowering face and push out and breathe out. Good, that's it, come on, you got this. And again, you can work some different tempos here. If you want, try that one, two, one, two. So they're moving quick. Not super fast, but very smooth. Good. 
and we're not resting much at all. Once we are extended, we're coming back down and back up. Oh, there you go. Come on, we're almost there. Hold on. <laughs> all right, three, two, and one. All right, nice work. All right, you have that pullover. So last time I used, what, a 25? I'm gonna go with my 30. And I tell you, the grip is gonna be too big on the heads of my dumbbell. So I'm gonna grab it here in the center, if you can see that, okay? In the center, three, two, and one. You can take two dumbbells if you want and do them. So I have 30, I could take two 15s if I had two 15s and do that. But just know the shoulders are working alone. We must have mobility here on this pullover. I hope I counted you down. We are working team. If, um, if you find that those shoulders hurt, do a bent over row. Don't uh, pull these shoulders or go very light until you can get mobility back into those shoulders. Don't, don't overdo it. Squeeze. If you have a question about an alternative for that, let me know. I would love to show one. Maybe I'll even show one here today. We'll see. Here we go. Pull it over. Three, two, and one. Oh, wow. Okay, team. This is our third round. Just like that. This workout's going to fly by. All right. 35 pounds. I'm going up one more time. Listen, if you don't have the weight there to go up, but you're ready, grab two dumbbells. Hold them in this front rack and go with that. Okay? Here we go. Three, two, and one, just 30 seconds, we must move. No pausing on this one, team. I want you up and down, up and down. Good. Up and down, get as many in. I want at least 10 to 12 if you can. Maybe you get more, but 10 to 12. Woo, eight seconds to go. Who's counting? <laughs> All right, three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, chest press. So this time, team, I'm gonna try, and trying is good, okay? You are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you think. Make sure that you try. If it's not your day, hey, what's the worst that can happen? You go back down to the weight that you were, but you'll never know unless you try. All right, weights up. Three, two, and one. Let's press it out. Two, good. That's it. Three, I'm gonna try for 10 in this 30 seconds. Four. We'll see where we go. It is heavy, five and sticky. Six, come on team. Seven, whew. eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. We did it, that's time, right on time. <laughs> pullovers, um, I'm gonna try again to do the pullovers with a heavier weight by holding the center of this dumbbell, my dumbbell is very wide and round and it makes it hard to hold on to. Three, two, and one. Here we go, pull it over, squeeze under those armpits, okay? Squeeze, two, good, that's it. Remember that range of motion. Don't go too far overhead if you don't have the range and not all the way up towards that chest where you feel rest. Stay contracted, it's only 30 seconds. Let's keep those muscles under tension. There you go, play with that range. Find that range that works. Three, two, and one, rest. Okay, great job. Let's go ahead and take it, 30 seconds. I'm gonna have you grab a sip of water. Don't mind me, Kona. Not trying to teach a class here. <laughs> grab a little water. Three exercises here. We have a dumbbell swing. I'm gonna do a dumbbell here down the middle. And that's all I'm gonna do because that's all the time we have talked about. I'm gonna go with a 25. Let's hold it by the center with a center grip and interlace our fingers. Three, two, and one, not too heavy. Push the hips back and squeeze. We're going a minute. This does not need to be too heavy. I don't want you tiring out the core here too soon. Tuck that chin, push those hips back, neutral spine. So think about packing those shoulders down in this position where the weight comes right under the body. We're swinging those arms. We're not lifting, all right? If I try to lift 25 pounds here, it's not gonna feel great. We're swinging. They're just going along for the ride. We're squeezing those glutes. 
we're pushing into the ground as we stand tall. All right, so don't lean back, stand tall, head toward the ceiling, keep that chin in. Woo, there you go, team. Keep it coming. Seven seconds. Three, two, and one. You can also hold that kettlebell or that bell, dumbbell from the top, but don't lose your grip on that. Better from the middle. Push press overhead. So it's a little dip to press. I have 20s. That may be as far as I go today. We'll see what all we can do. This is, this is a full minute. We're gonna press or push press. Three, two, and one, okay? A dip to press is your push press, okay? So you're gonna act like you're gonna start to sit back in a chair. Just a slight bend in the knees and push. We have a minute here of this, it's tough. If you feel that your weights are too light, go with a strict press. So you're just gonna push overhead and reset so you get the most out of it, okay? Don't do a push press if that weight is too light. Get some heavier weights and if you don't have them, do a nice strict press for me without this dip, all right? Good, 25 seconds to go. Good. Oh, we got it, we got it. And I think I'm gonna go up each round, we'll see. Here you go. From the shoulders, up. Good. That's it. We got it. Three, two, and one. Rest, all right, we're gonna move in place on the spot. I'm gonna choose to run in place, bringing the, lifting those heels up under my body. You can march if you'd like. You can go jump rope. You can do jumping jacks at your time, but I want some movement, I want some heart rate, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Feel my mic coming off, keep moving for me. March, run, whatever you gotta do here. Just keep those feet going. Get those steps in for me. All right, you can even go against the wall here and do a little run at an angle. All right, if not, just move those arms. Pull those heels up under the body. All right, we got it. And we can change this up and make it harder later. That's it. Come on, 23 seconds. Move the arms, even if you're marching. I want you to lift those knees. I want you to exaggerate. I want you to pull those elbows behind, all right? All right. Say yes, Tatum. Yes, coach, eight seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Just 20 seconds of rest. If the heart rate is too high to go into swings, pause me. Don't leave, pause and take a minute. We're up to two minutes if you need it, okay? We're going back to the swings. I'm going up to 30 pounds on this. 45 seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Push the hips back. Pop them. Tuck the chin. Squeeze the glutes. Stand tall. Dig the heels in. Ooh, don't fall back. Don't lean back. Straight up. That's it. 45 seconds here. 15 down. Swing the weight, don't lift it. It's getting heavier. Now listen, just because I said, let's go heavier, and you thought that last weight was light, if the form is not there, if that form is not there, don't go up in weight yet. Form first. There you go, stand tall, squeeze. Three, two, and one. Yeah, good job. All right, 45 seconds of push press. Overhead, I'm going to stay with my 20s. I'm going to aim for those 25s on the 30. I just don't think I'm there for that amount of time. That was a tough enough minute with the 20s. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Here we go. A little dip to press. That's it. Good job, team. That's it. A little dip. Now, a lot of times on that dip, people do this. All right, I want you to think about sitting back. All right, it's so a small bend. I'm not doing a squat to press. I'm not using that much leg. Just a little dip. Just a little bend, so it's mostly sh shoulders, okay? Whew. That's it. 
Maybe you had to stick with your same weight because of what you have available. And that first one, you did a nice strict press and now you're getting tired and you have to dip. That's great. That's okay. We're working it. Three, two, and one. Rest. We're running. We're jogging. We're marching. We're doing low jacks or jumpy jacks. We're doing something to ramp up the heart rate a bit here, okay? To push ourselves to get a little uncomfortable. Here we go. 45 seconds. Three, two, and one. You can move in your spot. Forward and back if that feels good. All right, up to you. You can go forward, touch, back, touch, forward if you need something. Lift those knees up instead. Find a high knee. That's tougher. All right, you do you. Modify, find your challenge. We have 20 seconds here. I'm gonna continue to run. I'm just gonna pick up that pace. All right, a little faster. Pull it up. Pull the elbows back. All right, 10 seconds. Whew, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more round, just 30 seconds each. Again, take more time here if you need it. I'm going up to that 35. And try to increase again. Make sure form is there first. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Push the hips towards the back wall. Pop them forward, thrust them forward, squeeze. Chin back, shoulders down. That's it. That's it, come on. Squeeze that bottom. Stand tall. Good. Three, two, and one. Push press team, 30 seconds for reference. We're gonna try. Try to go up to those 25s. Aim for eight or 10 of these, okay? Let's do it, we're so close. 45 minutes goes so fast. Three, two, and one. Here we go, a little dip to press. One, good, 30 seconds, two. Three, remember to have those weights reset before you dip. Don't start to dip with weights overhead. Bring them back down, reset yourself. Draw in, secure your core. Draw it in, get tight before we push overhead. Whew. I've lost count, how about you? Whew. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, nice work team. A little jogging in place, a little running. If you took it low with the jumping jacks, take it high. If you march, maybe you try to do a little quick feet here. If you're there, okay? Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go high knees now. I'm gonna lift up in front, right here. Make it a little tougher for 30 seconds and try to hold it. That's it, lift those knees. Bring those arms behind. Even if you're marching, exaggerate. 13 seconds, team. 12, Whew. 10. Come on, come on. Five, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, high five, high 10. Whew. Rest. All right, grab a sip of water. We're gonna bring that heart rate down. We're gonna finish with core. A little ab work. Oh, today I have, oh, cucumber in my water. I do not like cucumbers at all, but I love them in my water, so refreshing. Let me know, do you like cucumbers? Yes or no? If you do or don't, do you like them in your water? If you haven't tried to try it, I find my people that love to eat cucumbers do not like it in the water. And those who don't like cucumbers love a refreshing drink with cucumbers, all right. Anti-inflammatory, good stuff. Flavors of water, let's come down. We're gonna do 10 mountain climbers, all right? Let's start with the other, and 10 V-ups. V-ups are here, they're a tough one for 10. We might be too tired, so we may wanna come here instead and keep that lower back down. So there's a difference, I'm here on my tailbone, or I keep that lower back, I just focus on shoulder blades and shoulders. We're gonna work this way for another five minutes, all right? You can do one leg, two, 
at a time, modifications, or you can bend that knee in and do 10 five each side. After that, we're gonna turn to our plank. We're gonna go left, right equals one to 10 mountain climbers back over. We'll keep alternating here for five minutes or four sets, whichever comes first. All right, so let's go with that V up, 10 of them. Modified to suit you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you need to, if you're working slower with it, modification, keep going till you get to 10. Mountain climbers for 10, left, right equals one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. We can take those up to challenge ourselves as well. Number one, and I like to use my hair ties. I don't know if I have enough to move over to keep track. <laughs> all right, V-ups of some sort, some sort of modification. Hopefully we're all there. You work at your pace. I'll let you know where I am. I'm not gonna count out loud because we're all gonna work differently and with different modifications. <sighs> Just count them out. Woo, there we go, mountain climbers. And I'm gonna jump these a bit. So I'm gonna go high here with a jump instead of bringing them in since it's just 10, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo, there you go. Your kind of mountain climber. You can find an incline at a bench or a chair that can make that one helpful, okay? All right, team. Two down. Two to go for there, if we get there. One, we have three minutes left. Two, sorry, I won't count out loud. You count to yourself. Do your pace. Rest more if you need it. Woo. All right, good job. All right, you are kind of mountain climber, okay? Jumping down the line, down the middle, incline. Number three, one more to go, team. One more. Oh, here we go. Rest, make sure we're drawing in. Don't hurt your back. If this is getting to be too hard, keep yourself down. Whew. I'm gonna stay down. Eight, nine. I'm gonna do one more, because I'm not sure <laughs> if I counted wrong. All right, team, here we go. Oh, good job. That was four. All right, we're gonna stretch. If you're still wrapping up your four sets, Feel free to finish those up, okay? If you wanna go with fifth, go ahead. You could still work another minute 30 if you want. I'm hoping I did the right amount. I think, let's see, I pulled one over, two over, one back, I think so. Four of those. <laughs> oh, and that oxygen isn't going to the brain anymore. It's really hard to remember. We're gonna stay down here, we're gonna stretch out. Hopefully a lot of us have finished up already and we're on the same page here, okay? Let's lay down, roll yourself gently down. Let's bring that right knee into the chest. Again, if we can't reach the shin, grab behind your legs and just pull in. All right, you can drop here. Good job, hug it in. A Little bit of running today, let's go ahead. Circle that ankle left five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, right, one, breathe. Two, three, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice work. Let's bring that toe outside that left knee. Open up wide, look away, push the knee down. Try to get that shoulder down as well. I want three deep breaths here. Breathe in. And out. 
And in through your nose. And out. And again, in. And out. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and bring that right ankle over that left knee. Let those knees fall right, okay? And then open up those arms again, but look away from those knees. Breathe in, breathe out. In for four. Out for four. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. In, and out. Good. All right, let's bring that left knee into the chest. Hug it out. Kona, sit down. <laughs> no, no, no. Good, hug it in. Let's circle that left angle, or that ankle left. One, two, good boy. Three, four, five, and right. One, two, three, four, and five. Just breathe and hug here. Great job, let's bring that that uh, toe outside that knee, that right knee. Let's open up wide, look away, and push that knee down. Move out of your way, Kona. There we go. Push that knee down, look away. Five big breaths here, or four big breaths in and out. In for one, two, three, four, and out. One, two, three, four, and in. One, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Let's just do one more. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, good job. Come up to the top here. Let's go ahead and bring that left knee across the right. Let those knees fall left. Open up and look right away from those knees. You can push that heel down on that top knee a little bit to get that twist. Big breath in, one, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Another one in at your own pace. Out. Great job, team. Oh, it feels good. Let's hug those knees in. Let's come up to the top. Let's open up here just a little bit more. Uh, one of my favorites for our lats and our adductors, okay? So let's kick that left leg out, and we're just gonna shoot the hips back till you start to feel that stretch on that inner leg. Then I want you to bring your right arm and shoot it out in front, and then I just want you to lead with your chin a little bit. Try to stretch, feel it stretch under the armpit, and just come on down. Good, so we're getting inner thigh here and that large lat there after those pullovers that we did where we were squeezing under the armpit there. Just breathe, you can bring your forehead to the floor, but lead with the chest so you can feel that stretch. Push your knuckles in, nice big breath. Think about that four count in and out. From this point, I want you to bring that right arm down, left arm up for a nice long side bend here. Reach. Feels good. Oh, a little partial rainbow. <laughs> and back over. Good. All right. Let's bring that right leg out, left arm in front. Right arm's kind of back here. First, shoot the hips back. Get that stretch where you want it in that inner thigh. Feel that out. And then just draw down with the chest, keeping those fingers, put knuckles pushed in away and feeling that stretch under the armpit there. See if you can get there. And then find your breath and breathe. Good. Draw that left arm back where the right arm is, then out to your side. And I want you to reach up overhead nice and long, and as long as you can. Try to keep those uh, hips stacked and ribs stacked. Breathe. Look down if it feels better. 
Good job. Let's come up to our knees. I want those fist in the small of your back here, okay? And we're just going to give it a little back bend. Look up and breathe. Shoot the hips back, forehead to the floor. And time. All right, nice work. A little flow there at the end with that stretch. Thank you to Yoga Time with Terry. That helps me a lot. She helps me with my stretching. Um, again, thank you so much for showing up. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Please comment. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell because I like to do some community posts in there um, just to inform you if things are going on or if we had an issue on our side. Um, ask questions, get involved. You know, it's more than just the workout here. I mean, you want to show up and gain that strength, but remember there's a lot going on out there in life too to help manage our health. So if you are um, needing anything or having trouble fitting workouts in, talk to me, okay? And um, remember, there's... Um, you, you got to go through some of the struggle in here to gain that strength, okay? So remember that you, if you are lacking in weights that challenge you, it's time to, to invest in yourself, okay? Or if you're holding back because you're, you're scared, try a little bit more. But make sure before you do any of that that the form is there and you have some baseline that you've been doing this. But please, please always show up and challenge yourself. Give it 10 minutes. If you're not there that day, go ahead and leave. But I will guarantee once you get moving, you feel pretty darn good. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for showing up with me. Thank you for inspiring me to be here and keep going with you on this journey. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.